Hi, my name is Kate. I'm going to present the results of two of the six research studies I found from my paper. The first study by Arden illustrated that there is a tie between an increase in thyroid cancer due to gene mutations found in people who were exposed as children to the accident of Chernobyl. The second study by Evanov demonstrated the connection between the dose of radiation received and two common fusions of gene verse point mutations, which resulted in thyroid cancer. Ardent conducted a case control study by comparing two different groups with thyroid cancer. Group one was the exposed group and two was unexposed. Evanov conducted a cohort study that monitored patients who were exposed to see if they would develop thyroid cancer over time. Arden and L study reviewed 77 exposed individuals who were approximately five and a half years old and were exposed to Chernobyl. This included 53 women and 24 men. Group two was comprised of 19 participants that also developed thyroid cancer and were of similar age to group one but never received exposure from the Chernobyl accident. Group two included 18 women and one man. Arden et al. findings showed that group one resulted in 33.3% having gene rearrangements, whereas group two, only 11.1% were seen. Furthermore, 60% of these rearrangements from group one were noted in ranges of higher exposure a p-value of 0 0.047 was found and is statistically significant in proving that as frequency is increased, so is the absorbed dose to the thyroid. Evanoff et al. recruited 65 participants under the age of 18 that resided in the heaviest areas exposed during the event. Thyroid dose measurements and tissue samples were then analyzed. Participants were then observed over several years. Findings of Evanoff et al. revealed that 96.9% driver mutations showed that gene rearrangements were 70.8% of the cases observed, while 26.2% were point mutations. However, 70.8 plus 26.2 equals 97%. This graph illustrates how gene rearrangements are impacted by increases in dose. Point mutations where a nucleotide base is either inserted or deleted from DNA isn't as influenced by radiation dose. The Evanoff et al. study had findings that when looked at more closely showed mathematical errors within the results, questioning their internal validity. Ardenant et al. study concluded statistically significant findings, confirming their hypothesis between gene mutations and radiation exposure. Through ongoing cohort and case control studies, research can provide how impactful events such as the Chernobyl accident can be. Further research and monitoring will allow for a better understanding of what is leading to these tumors and gain a better prognosis for these patients. Thank you.